They say that falling stars are used for wishes. But I don't need wishes. I need light to push my shadow far enough to cover aspirations and my body to be pulled behind like some Peter Pan fairy tale. Except with me, I wouldn't fight it. My shadow would be an extension of myself filled with the determination that I wish I had. Filled with the childish dreams I still continually think of and wish I had. You see, my thoughts are like empty picture frames that used to be filled with majestic 8 by 11 prints of colored outside the lines pictures that were supposed to be me in the future. At first it was a kindergarten project, but then I realized when mom stuck it up on the fridge, this was going to come true. I was going to become the musician I dreamt of despite growing up in what was a lot like the Robin Hood ghetto. I wasn't stealing dreams though. This was mine. I could already see the spotlight casting my shadow amongst the keys of my piano. I was an eighth note away from a measure of melodic happiness and sweet serendipity. Until years fell away. Like I fell away from the practicality of a five-year-old and watched as my dreams unraveled into a long, convoluted list of some days. I was told, and I believed, I was just too young to do the things I dreamt, and I would just have to wait until somebody over the number of years of 18 told me I was ready. So during the stages of my required childhood innocence, I spent my time color organizing crown boxes. Upon boxes, 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 cigarette boxes, the innumerable amounts of Hot Wheels I once owned raced away and I was left playing with the toys of reality. My fairy tales came true, they just weren't what I thought they were. They were real robbers, just not justified, lost boys, but dying. Happily ever afters became just having a job. Having enough money to buy a single crayon to color in enough to make it to the next paycheck and have enough time to regret not using our wishes wisely. Like wishing that reality didn't mean recognizing that this is a paper world that circulates money, documents, and the tissues that catch our emotions seeping from our eyes that is the weakness that crimps the pages of our non-fictional storyline. Wow. Yeah. I wish, I wish upon a star that my, never, my fairy tales would take me away to my Neverland dream and remind me that taking a risk didn't mean suicide. That using Peter Pan's fairy dust wasn't going to be like the storm of emotions I saw when that girl took a leap of faith and fell through paper-thin promises from the top of our eight-story apartment building when she just tried to get away. So I guess if I could really think of what I could use my one wish for, it would be if happily ever afters could exist, an expression wouldn't mean doubt.